Hi, I'm Jason Inman, and welcome to Jason Talks Geek, where I talk about geeky things with geeky people on a geeky couch. And today's geeky person is... Ashley Victoria Robinson. Yeah, this is a show that is helped supported by my Patreon at patreon.com slash John. Go head on over there and go support it if you haven't done it already. Today's question comes from William Pierce at The Greater Good, who asks, Best Detective, Sherlock Holmes, or Batman? Now... Before we get into this question, I want to set up that if you do not know that the person to my left is probably the, the biggest Sherlock Holmes fan on the planet, then you don't know Jack. Okay? <laughs> That's uh, all true. Yes. Yeah, so, do you want to explain, like, Sherlock Holmes to you? You've always loved them. Very I brief do. explanation of why. I love Sherlock Holmes because Sherlock Holmes is always the smartest person in the room, and it's not necessarily because he's more educated or more experienced than you. It's because he sees the world mm. differently. But you also love Batman. I do love Batman. All right, it's so then true. let's. I'm gonna put you right on the spot. Better detective, Batman, or Sherlock Holmes? Obviously Sherlock Holmes. Like okay, Saw's contest. Because I think that with all things, you have to give a lot of credit to the original. Now, Sherlock is not the original detective in fiction, mm -hmm. but he is the greatest and most remembered detective in fiction. And I think that a lot of Sherlock informed Batman. Yes. Uh, you can't get away from... So did Zorro. That's true. You, you can't get away <laughs> from that lineage. I also think you have to give Sherlock a lot of credence because Batman in today's setting could definitely beat him to the punch on a lot of things, but mm -hmm. Sherlock is working within the constructs of Victorian England, so he has to be that much more heightened and that much more capable because he doesn't have little bat drones and little robins okay, that can okay. go around and collect information But you bring, up, you bring up an interesting conversation there. Okay, so you're saying that Batman in Victorian era with none of his modern gadgets would still be beaten by Sherlock Holmes. I think so. I think Interesting. I think Bruce Wayne Batman would get there eventually, but I think Sherlock would get there quicker because he's used to working under those constraints. Interesting. See, I'm going to flip the paradigm. No. <laughs> I think it is Batman. Why? I don't know because Excuse I just me. think that that Bruce Wayne is so driven. Mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne is so obsessed mm -hmm. that I think he has studied um, all of these different, varied uh, uh, studies just for the simple fact of crime fighting mm -hmm. that I think he can almost over-obsess and will himself to beat Sherlock Holmes, even if Sherlock Holmes is the better detective. Like, Batman, for me, is just so insanely driven. Mm -hmm. Like, insanity, to the point of insanity he is driven. Whereas Sherlock um, does it because he digs it. Or does it? Or does it because like he's good at it and he and he enjoys like the chase and the mystery. But Batman <coughs> is like obsessively driven to solve this thing. I will say that Sherlock is a lot like Batman in that he's independently wealthy, so mm -hmm. he is a detective because that's what he likes and that's what stimulates his mind. Mm -hmm. He is obsessive to the point that he'll take cocaine to stay up for four days in order to solve mm -hmm. a case, uh, sometimes to his detriment, often to his detriment. And I would say that Batman could probably beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but canonically, Sherlock is a boxer and a martial artist, and strong enough to bend a wrought iron fire burner, uh, or fire poker mm -hmm. in half. So, like, he's pretty formidable. But we're not talking about a fight, well, though. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. pretty well trained physically, mm -hmm. um, as well. Like, we know, obviously, Batman is obsessive to the point that he's mastered, like, arguably all martial arts, yes. including fake ones that only exist in the DC comics. Yes, that's right. Like, Krypt Kryptonian Kung Fu. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't know. Like, I think... I think it would be very close. I, I do think Batman edges him out just because, like, if you you, you put Batman in his base core nature, mm -hmm. he's an insane person. Yes. And he's an insane detective. Um, all right, so I say Batman wins. You say Sherlock Holmes wins. I want to put Sherlock Holmes or Batman versus some other detectives in comic books. Okay. Okay. And okay. I want to see if you think that, because I think there is another detective on this list that could best Sherlock Holmes or tie Sherlock Holmes, or at least beat Batman. Mm. Um, all right, let's go with one of the protege of Batman, Tim Drake. See, I love Tim Drake. He's the most detective-y of, detective-y, that's a word, uh, of the Robins. He is, and I would say that he's arguably the most detective-y of the Bat Family characters, mm -hmm. because Batman's definitely become more of a superhero than a detective in yes. recent incarnations. Depends on the story. It, it absolutely depends on the story. Uh, I, I mean, if I think that if I think that Sherlock's better than Batman, he has to be better than Tim Drake. Mm -hmm. But I will say this, Sherlock has a better relationship with Watson than I think Batman has with either or any of the Robins <laughs> and the Batgirls, so I think 
think that Sherlock would totally be up for taking Tim under his wing. You just had to get that little jab at Batman right there. (laughs) (laughs) All right, uh, let's talk about another favorite of yours, uh, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. (gasps) But Batgirl has an iodetic memory, which makes her truly unique compared to both Sherlock and Batman. It makes her a little bit better in terms of memorization than Batman. I don't know if it makes her a better detective, mm-hmm. but it definitely makes her, I would say she Makes it easier. I would say Barbara's definitely smarter than both of them. Okay. Than Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Barbara's smarter than Sherlock Holmes. I mean, with the, with the just simply by the fact of retention, she has to be smarter. All right, now here's an interesting one. Um, I think that this next person is possibly a better detective than Batman. Vic Sage... The question. Hmm. Again, um, the basis of Rorschach in Watchmen is is the question. The question at its core is a detective, a hardball detective guy who is obsessive. So much to the point that Bruce Timm decided to use that feature of him in the Justice League animated series in the Cadmus storyline. He was the one who figured out that Cadmus was coming for them. It was the question. It wasn't Batman. It was the question. That's interesting. That's a hard question for me because I don't I don't know that much about the mm. question. Well, just go off the Justice League animated series from what you've seen in there. Because oh. he's pretty detective-y. He is pretty, de- he's pretty <laughs> detective-y. Uh, I would say he's probably on par with Sherlock. Oh, he's equal. Okay. Sher- uh, the question is equal. Equal to Sherlock. Um, let's go with the next one. Um, I don't really think of this character as a detective, but he is an investigator. Hellboy. Oh, yeah, but he's more your paranormal type detective. But still, paranormal it's, investigator. It's, it's still very detective-y. No, it totally is, but it's... Uh, <laughs> just use that word one more time. It's it's a different type of detective-y than, mm. than Batman or I would Sherlock. Just, I, would, I would call Hellboy a paranormal investigator. Yes, I would say so. I don't think of him as being a particularly great mm-hmm. detective, though. Would Sherlock like Hellboy? No. Sherlock... <laughs> but, but if they went and, like, did a couple rounds of boxing... Then sure he would earn Sherlock's respect. They couldn't do boxing because the right hand of Doom would crush Sherlock's skull. I know, but Sherlock has like this thing where like if you can beat the snot out of him, then he really kind of digs you. Oh well, then Batman. That's Batman's end right there. <laughs> so I think I think he could get to like Hellboy, but I don't think they're best buddies right off the right off the get go. All right, and the final character on my list I have who I think could beat Sherlock Holmes and Batman, Detective Chimp. Well, I mean, there's just no contest I there. mean, when you got a chimpanzee that wears a hat that looks just like Sherlock, one, I think Sherlock and him become best of pals. Uh, <laughs> I think Sherlock is it like finds it very amusing that he is inspired. Actually, here's my prediction. If Detective Chimp meets Sherlock Holmes, Watson leaves Sherlock and joins Detective Chimp. Yes. That's exactly yes. what happened. And we get the adventures of Watson and Chimp. I would read that. I'm calling that book right now, Watson and Chimp. And it'll be the most detective-y book that you've ever read. <laughs> All right, it's final thoughts. Sherlock trumps Batman. I think Batman trumps Sherlock, but Detective Chimp wins all. Guys, thank you so much because of the support at patreon.com slash John and why these videos happen. So check on over there, exclusive videos, exclusive podcasts. Uh, go follow Ashley on Twitter. Where? At Ashley V. Robinson. Follow me on Twitter at John, J-A-W-I-I-N. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'll see you next week. <laughs>